Morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in day three of our Pilgrim's Passage 1620, which is just something I made up so that I had prompts that would prompt me on what to do every day. <clears throat> and this morning, this is about four o'clock, full disclosure. Uh, couldn't sleep. Went to bed too early. Daylight savings is still giving, getting us daylight losing is really what it is, but we're waking up way too early and going to bed way too early because the dog thinks it's dark. Let's go to bed. It's 10 o'clock. No, it's not. It's 430. Anyhow, um, I am taking some paper that I painted before. I don't know. I don't remember when it's in my stash here and I'm just adding stuff to it, trying to get some <sighs> angst out of my system by putting color to paper and then I can go back to sleep. Full disclosure, it didn't work, but that's okay. It was still fun. Um, so yeah, I'm sitting here in my pajamas at four o'clock in the morning and trying to be as quiet as possible so as not to wake the dog up and play with paper and color and just trying to see if I can go back to sleep. But anyhow, the results are great. All except the sleeping part. <laughs> the color and the paper were great. Um, but so I, I did another one. Um, and I don't know if I'll use these today. The idea is to use them, but I don't, I'm not solidified on that fact. I don't have to. Um, I'm just, you know, trying to, some people have shaking leg syndrome. I have twitching fingers that need to touch paper and paint in the middle of the night, I guess, is who I'm turning into. I don't know. But I'm just trying to do, you know, just don't think. Just put stuff down. Um, if you don't like it, you can go over it again. Um, it's okay. It's not, it's just paper. It's just paper. And it's even maybe copy paper at this point. Um, it's nothing, nothing, nothing fancy. But I did think that I didn't like this one. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can put stuff over the top of it. I'm like, ooh, I like that piece of paper. Hmm. I like that piece of paper. Um, still trying to keep in mind Nick Bantock. Uh, I repeat that self to myself the whole way through today um, and to you at points. Um, now that editing me knows what's going to happen. Um, but I did recently see a... Uh, he writes a lot of really fantasy stories. And I found a fantasy story... Um, written on cards. I think this is what it is. Don't quote me. Um, like kind of like a tarot card thing, but it's not, but he had really wild backgrounds. So I'm like, mm -hmm. maybe Nick Bantock is copying me or being influenced by me. I'm really not copying him. I'm being influenced by him and maybe he's being influenced by me. So I loved that piece of paper. So I decided to put it in the background. Now the tape's going to show, the craft is going to show, um, it's a little bit too big, but it's asymmetrical. And I love that today, Paper, probably not tomorrow, but today I love it. Um, so at this point, I still don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go try to go back to bed, um, and see if I can't get a couple more, maybe two or three more hours of shut eye, but full disclosure, it doesn't happen, but that's okay. Um, uh, I did take a long nap yesterday, so no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Anyhow, anyhow, um, I love how this turned out. I really like the colors. It's purple. Our prompt to today is long journey. So maybe the only part that's journey here is it took me a long journey to get to this point. I started out with two different pieces of paper and I went down to this. But I'm loving how that black looks around those circles. Really loving that. Um, and that's just Stabilo. And it just kind of gives it a little pow pop of color and punch and I love how that works out and so much so that I added a little bit more around the edges in the purple and blue um really like this a lot so I'm going to leave you this morning with a couple pictures of what I did at four o'clock in the morning and they're okay well 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 let's see which one I like I really like this one and this is all dry now, so I can glue this on. Sometimes you have to do this in stages. It is supposed to rain here today. <laughs> uh, 
other than that, it is a very quiet day here. did rip this but it's okay it'll get used still somehow some way sometime hmm. want to do it off yes I think I do okay otherwise the prompt for today if I haven't already said it is a long journey I cannot imagine changing your entire life. There's people still doing it today to go and be in a country where you hopefully can be a little freer. I mean, the, the bravery is astounding to me. I, I don't think I would be that brave. I, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. It depends on how bad I, off I was, I guess. And some, I mean, if they didn't have religious freedom, which is what they wanted to come here. I mean, just, just very brave, very brave. Uh, I'm not sure I like this now. I could put paint over it and kind of move stuff around still. And then I found a fabric squat scrap. So let's just do that. Since it's K facet, he would love being in these colors. And let's just see where that goes. We'll put it up here. We'll put this one up here. We're gonna use this since we already got it here. I just saw your comment, Curti, about an accordion. And I really had thought about that, really. But I've already started yesterday. I really kind of probably should have started that part of it yesterday. This is a much thicker paper that I wrote on for this. So today we have Long Journey and I have a couple little things here. I have a dictionary definition off the computer so it doesn't quite look like a dictionary um, entry, but I may or may not use it. I don't know yet. I have oh, here's another like meal painting from way back. Again in black and white. Nick Bantock, trying to remember Nick Bantock. I could put this here. I keep cutting all this with a little tiny bit of a white border. I don't know if that's a good thing or not for what I want to do. I don't know. We could go like this, like this, not have that traditionally located. I don't want to cover up this per se because I really like how that turned out. Um, what else do I got over here? Oh, what's this? All right, this is some kind of ephemera. It has a black background on three sides. I don't dislike that, actually. I think I took my black Stabilo home on accident in my um, Hobonichi stuff. Because I knew we were only going to be here two weeks this time. I'm just collecting everything. So I took my Hobonichi home. And I think I accidentally took my big Stabilo Woody home. All right, let's see. I've got a couple pieces of labels here. Oh, I have this filigree again too. 
I have rocks. Mm. Do I want to do something like this? Maybe. Kind of, I don't know what that is. Kind of maybe put this here. Put another one. I don't know where that came from. Maybe put this here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's let's end with seven. Okay, here's some of the same stuff in black and white. I mean in color. And a different size. Let's just do one. I'm not numbering anything. And this color is close to that color. The craft color. I need to bring a new trash bag up here. Maybe do this. Connect these. I like connecting stuff. So I have a trail here. Do I put a, that's seven, which I love that number, but I think this side needs something. So I might put Plymouth Rock over here, which is an actual rock that was carved with 1620 in it. And it kind of doesn't scream, oh, I'm over here by myself because of the colors, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's see, these all go over here. All right, I think I need to glue this down. I don't dislike it. We're going to go with it. Okay, 1620. Kind of have it touching the circles. Let's put this big one down first. Attempt to get it straight. So it's a very quiet day here today. <laughs> I think they're having some race here in the park. Yes, last night we went for a golf cart ride and we saw finish line and stuff like they're setting it up. I don't know what it is. Some race. Not the um, New York Marathon by any means. Our friends, a couple of them, one of the couples we've been to Ireland with are going to New York for Thanksgiving and the parade, which we have seen the parade before. Years and years, whenever Cats was very popular in its heyday. Because Cats, the float, Cats went by us and I'm like, those people look just like Cats. <laughs> and, um, and then the couple that... Um, I went to the lady I went to Vietnam with. They're going the day after Thanksgiving to do Christmas decorations and festivities and see a play. So it's really going to be quiet here. All right. I don't think I want to do any more Stabilo, but I might shade a little bit of this. Maybe. Oh yeah, especially these. Not in the same place every time, possibly. Ooh, I like that. 
like that. This color on the craft paper is pretty, these pastels, but I might put a little blue in it too, just a tiny bit. Well, I guess there's no white about it. I guess I didn't do it. And then maybe a little bit kind of on the ephemera pieces. Not bad. Kind of stitch them down a little bit. I don't dislike that. Okay, I think I'm going to stop. Not bad for using up scraps. I don't throw anything away. See all this over here? Goes in the box or in an envelope or somewhere. And hopefully when I want it, I can find it. Kirk, do you think since I bought some new letters, I'm going to find Amy? I hope so. Hope it works like that. All right, let's see here these guys in here. These in here. Oh, I got some more hotel keys. My sister was going to leave them. I'm like, no, give those to me. They make good scrapers. Okay. Definitely not Nick Bantock, but I don't dislike it. Let's see if I can get a little bit of this off. Normally stuff hanging off the edges doesn't bother me, but for some reason on this one it does. It always looks the same for me. By the end, I really have an aesthetic. Is that good or bad that I keep doing the same thing over and over again? I don't know. I like it, though. So we're going to leave it like it is for right now. All right. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Or as we say to the dog, manana. He is Spanish, you know. See you tomorrow. Bye.